hello another video same day same outfit different item I'm cooking some potatoes and onions and some refried beans to make burritos for my lunch and any you know me any excuse for beer so hmm, those potatoes are I think I'm cooking the potatoes that taste a little little fishy so I had them in the rice the rice container which was fine until it started getting warm outside so that they went from being cold and dry to being warm and dry and a couple of them sprouted I had to throw a few away and I had to cut some spots. Yes, my nose looks shiny. I apologize. As I said before, kitchens, kitchen is where we do food. Unless I've got a meal. I haven't done that in a while where I make a meal and I sit and talk with you. But I don't usually do mukbang, 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 mukbang style videos. And I'm trying to save as much of this as possible because those beer your bar things are a thing with me. And again, this is from Shiner, Texas. We've done beers by them before. And I've done several when I had just my face my Facebook before I decided to make this as I said a content channel. I've got this bottle. It's a prickly pear. And it says it's a people's people's choice winner. It's made with organic prickly pears. So we're going to save these for when I redo my bottle cap countertop at my next place. I think I've told you guys that's right before I attempted that at my last place. But I tried to mix both batches of epoxy in the same container, which my neighbors will tell me later. You, it won't cure if you do that. So. Live and learn. So next time we will remember we will remember not to do that. I turned the heat up on my potatoes just a little bit. They're just sitting here. They're not browning. I want them to brown a little bit more, even though it's just me. Okay, so we have this mug. I also have the guillotine one that's um says Pittsburgh. It's basically kind of they both remind me of my boys, ones from Pitts ones in Pittsburgh and those in Maryland, and my little wolf lives in Maryland. And I will try to remember to use the bigger mug in future videos when I'm pouring a pint so I can pour the whole pint at once. I will try to remember anyway. So let's give this a try and see how this tastes. Pouring it, trying to pour it slowly. You can't see because I've got it facing me. I should have done it the other way but I'm not left-handed. Just tilt it. a little bit left in there. Ah, very refreshing. And it's got the prickly pear fruit in it, which is, again, refreshingly sweet, but not sugary. It's sort of a sweet tart flavor, you know, like a like you get in your mouth when you're having a strawberry. So more similar to that. And it makes me miss the Occulto beers I told beer I told you about that was brewed in agave barrels or over agave staves, I don't remember. Tequila staves. Um I don't know why that beer went away, that was a good beer. But anyway, I digress. This is a nice beer. If you like a uh, fruit flavored beers and like them a little bit more on the tart side like a citrusy flavor like you know a grapefruit or a lemon or lime or strawberry which is not a citrusy citrus fruit per se but it's got that same kind of bite you like this uh, prickly pear again like it's this similar flavor note but more on the strawberry end but they all have that ref refreshing mouth feel it's like you, you don't you don't feel like you ate a ton of sugar it's really good and let's see what have I got coming up I was going to do a bath bomb video with a therapy bomb the 
in the uh, more darker themed bombs that they had called Apocalypse. I bombed the video. <laughs> I made a rookie mistake and as I was flipping the camera to show you me, I accidentally turned it off and thought I was recording and I had a beautiful video. I poured the water just right and the thing fizzed and turned this lovely shade of blue green. So I won't spoil it too much. I will try to, I guess I was checking my food, try to remember to get one of those and actually do the video right this time <laughs> and show you. It is, it's got um, sunflower oil, I believe, and rosemary and something else. And it's, it's basically, a, it's a bath bomb with bath oil, which is kind of strange. But it, it left, after the bath, um, my skin felt very soft, and I didn't need any lotion, and I had a good night's sleep. It was, a more, like, it was meant for relaxing, soothing muscle aches and pains and such like. So I will, I was going to do that today, but now I've only got like a dollar left, because after I got too much more things that I planned at the Walmart I went to, and then got the paint, I've only got a little over a dollar left, so... Next paycheck, I will try to remember to do that. Also next paycheck, we'll be trying to order some more items. I'm trying to see how to order, like I said, the life support cold brew from Riches. It comes in IV bags, basically. So I'm trying to figure out how, I'm, how I can do that. Because I, because I do want to do that, and I do want to do Quarantine Queen. I think I'll do Quarantine Queen first. Because I have that in a shopping cart, so I'll get that, and I'll check I'll try to figure out, navigate through the Riches website, because I'm a dork, and not the sharpest tool in the shed all the time. I'm not, s yeah, we'll just, whatever. I can be stupid sometimes, let's face it. Um, so when I figure that out, and I figure out a way to order it and get it here, we'll do that. So we'll have Quarantine Queen, possibly Life Support Cold Brew, and I've got some other perfumes I was talking about. The Deadlies on the Dirty Ground, Blood Moon, Cemetery Moss, I still want those. And I also want the Memento Mori shirt from Jessup's. But since the weather's getting warmer now than it was when I originally decided I wanted to think about ordering it, I may have to go with a short sleeve version instead. Although I may go long sleeve because it's be probably better for me driving as long as I'm working indoors, to have long sleeves so I'm not sunburning. We'll see. I am going to get the shirt, and I do want to get the water bottle that says holy water on it. So, I'm trying to see where the minutes are on this thing, because I can't tell. It's in the upper left-hand corner, and it's white on white, so I can't read the numbers. So that's it for now. Um, we're going to upload this video. I'm going to do the Weeping Angel Baby video. before this one so I'll I will upload that one first then I will upload this one then I will have a couple soda reviews and when I get Neela the Neela's dolls body the doll body not Neela that would be creepy <laughs> yeah I will show you the doll body when that comes and then I will like I said I will make those orders to Jessup's uh, and Morbid Mistress and try to figure out again some more creepy spooky things like the IV, IV bottle of cough, IV bottle bag. Stop talking, Julie. Just stop talking. I will see you guys next time. Don't drag and drive. Try to only make essential trips. Uh, because browsing is not a good idea right now. I, you know, I did some myself, so I can't really complain too much. But try to keep your browsing to a minimum. Try to be in and out as quickly as possible. You know, pick up a few things you want, but mostly try to stick with things you need. And, you know, like today, I did a small... I'm trying not to scratch my face. A uh, small fun run. 
but I try, I try not to do that too often. I'm going to try and do those more online like everybody else instead of just going to the store to get things I don't really need but just that I want. I'm rambling again. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some fun videos. Um, the Don't Rush Me Challenge. Um, there's Mama Goth, I think, has the Alternative YouTube Challenge. And on Facebook, they have the Goth Guys. There's at least one, maybe two, maybe two possibly, versions of the Goth Guys doing the same thing. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you do TikTok, have, knock yourself out, not literally. Have fun with that. Just keep yourselves occupied. Try not to be too stir crazy. Don't overwhelm the stores. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye now.